guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Hassani, and today we're going to find out why do we see different constellations in different months. I'll take you to a scientific journey, but let's talk about something to our channel. Last video, we learned how to install Python. I'll continue once I get my enough network and I start uploading videos on that. For now, let's do some new thing and let's go on some scientific journey and find out. Why do we see different constellations in different months? So let me tell you a little bit of my story right here from when I grew up. So I went to my grandparents' house one night and I noticed a pattern of stars in the night when I was chilling. I was amazed with what I could connect. I could connect an or Orion Dipper, Orion or a Big Dipper. I was so amazed because that was the first time I could connect in constellation. I had an idea about these different constellations we see, see around different worlds, but I didn't know this until the next few months of when I visited my grandparents. Well, after the next few months, this wasn't there anymore. What I actually saw was this i was so amazed i saw what was called the ursa major and i connected another constellation but the thing is i couldn't see the orion or the big orbit big dipper anymore what i was left with was the ursa major will i be able to see orion again or just Ursa Major. Well, my dad came up to me and walked me through the journey and why this happened. So let's get started. Well, why do you think this is happening? So this is basically changing its patterns. How will this go? Are the are the stars vanishing? They're getting eaten up by something? Oh my god, this is so crazy. Well, until I knew it, I was amazed. Now pause the video and play it again. But and when you pause it, discuss why you think. Share your thoughts with your parents and your teachers. Well, Here's a hint, it might be something with the Earth having to spin and rotate. So think about it and pause the video. Are you ready yet? I hope you are. Well, I'll play you two clips and again, I'll leave you to thinking about it. Here's a clip. Well, Earth is not the only planet which rotates, but now let's focus on Earth, which is rotating. The Earth rotating. I'll play in another clip and check out a clue in that too. There's a clue in this and that. Whoa, you see that? You find any clue? Well, I'll play you two clips one by one and I'll leave you two thinking about it for a few minutes. Okay, did you find anything? Well, I have found major clues in this. Well, did you uh, discuss and did you tell your answers? I hope you have. And you're the lucky one if your answer is correct. Well, first clue is the Earth's rotating here. So, 
that's one of our clue. It's moving its position from one place to another place and coming back, to, coming back to its original position, going in periodic motion. In physics, it's called periodic motion, going from one place and coming back its, to its original position. Now over here, you can notice the Earth having to spin around, kind of like this. And that's another clue. So what's basically going on in these two? What basically is going on is the Earth's not staying in one position. Here, the Earth's rotating, so it's spinning. So one part of the, let's take America. One part of the America, if it's night, in Asia, it's going to be morning, right? So here's Asia, then the other part's America, which is going to be night. So it's spinning. So basically, and it's rotating, so it doesn't stay in one position. Do we find any clue right now? There's, there's one clue. The Earth's going like this. Do you understand anything? What I mean is this. Let me tell you. Imagine this as an Earth. Now here's the Earth. And think about this is January, month of January. And now the Earth goes and now you can see the galaxy, which is which over 